Okay, so I'll be brief. So let's talk about a little bit about what FUSENET stands for, what FUSENET is, and what opportunities uh, you as, as master students and uh, what we would hope that you become the future workforce in nuclear fusion <laughs> uh, can, can, can get from us. So just a little brief uh, summary of what the association is. So already, already introduced a little bit of this this morning. So we are the European Fusion Education Network. Uh, this association was founded in 2010 originally under a European program, but at the current moment, we are funded by Eurofusion. So we are part of the education and training uh, part of Eurofusion. Uh, although we are an independent association, uh, we have uh, 70 member institutions, of which 45 of them are universities, and the remaining of them are uh, research uh, centers and uh, companies involved in the fusion field. Our main activity is student support and mobility. So we support over the, the, the years more than 800 students uh, since, uh, since 2014. Uh, our members are distributed uh, quite evenly among the European territories. So you can see in the map a little bit of, of uh, highlights of where our institu member institutions are. And then the FUSENET uh, structure is, uh, is composed by three governing bodies. So the Board of Governors, the Academic Council of FUSENET, and the Student Council of FUSENET. So these three governing bodies are conformed by, of course, students or researchers or members of the companies, and they are all voluntarily joining these, these, uh, these councils, and they, this is where the, the decisions of FUSENET takes place. Of course, FUSENET as a whole has to answer to the General Assembly. So the General Assembly of FUSENET is... Uh, the, where all the members uh, meet and where the, the, the most important decisions of FUSENET are, are taken. So this General Assembly takes place uh, once per year with all the, all the representatives from the member institutions. And then there is the executive office. So uh, we are tasked with the, all the creating all the activities, supporting all the, the initiatives. And uh, yeah, we are pretty much uh, uh, delivering the, the, the activities of FUSENET uh, to you, to the students. So we, FUSENET uh, as a whole intends to be a, a, an educational platform that joins and links uh, students and, uh, and members of the, of the network, and then those members being uh, universities, research centers, or companies. So yeah, so what is our goal? Well, our, our vision, for example, is that everyone in Europe should have access to fusion education appropriate for their role in society. So as Roddy mentioned this morning, we, uh, we as FUSENET, we cover a lot of educational levels with our initiatives. So it was uh, referred this morning, for example, our material for primary school. So we really start, we start really early from the education and we would like to, to accompany, let's say, the, the different generations and you students as well to accompany you on the on your uh, career track towards fusion and not, not only accompanying you with with uh, support but also with uh, with materials and developing a lot of activities so you can be integrated properly into the 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 challenges and the and the workforce of, of fusion. But okay, but you are master students and I have to tell you that our main beneficiaries, so the main beneficiaries of the FUSENET initiative and budget is master students. So this is why it's my really good pleasure to give this presentation so you know what kind of opportunities you can have with, uh, with FUSENET. So for example, what is it with you? So let me tell you that uh, the majority of our budget is goes to mobility grants. So the mobility grants focus on master students, so only for master students. And there is two types of mobility that we support as FUSENET. So for example, uh, there is the internships and the thesis project. So you see all the, the pictures in the collage is uh, students that we have uh, supported with economical support to be able to, to have their internships or the thesis projects at different institutions or even companies that allow, uh, yeah, that we wish, which we are in contact and, and, and they have projects especially dedicated to fusion. So we are able to fund students uh, from the different uh, universities in Europe from master programs to be able to join these, these internships or, or, or thesis projects. We also have developed in our own uh, website, 
uh, the matchmaking uh, browser. So what we want with this matchmaking browser is to provide a, a meeting point uh, for, to, for the Fusion members and the students to be able to find these internships easier and to be able to connect. So for example, we advertise this, this uh, browser within our members, uh, companies, institutions, and then we ask them to provide us with a description of an internship. We already have a template for that. And then once they have provided this description, we upload it in the site. So for example, if you as a student, you are interested, you, you go to our matchmaking browser and you're interested in, in this in this internship, then there is also the, the, the contact person there from the company itself. And then you can write this person and you can you can um, have the, the direct contact with them and you can arrange the, this internship. And the benefit of doing this is, as I mentioned, we as Fusionet as well, we provide uh, economical support for this. So there is there is also the case sometimes, for example, if you do an internship in a company, for example, there is also the possibility of the company to be able to give you additional compensation for your internship. So there is the possibility of combining both uh, Fusionet support and the, and the company support up to a certain uh, uh, threshold. Uh, so yeah, but then it's, it's a good opportunity. Also, if you decide to do an internship in a research center, uh, we are able to fund you as well, and the, and the, we are able to fund maximum up to six months of internship. So all the details of these internships, especially the the amount of money and the the conditions, you can find them in our website. So if you go to to education and funding activities, you can you can find out there our terms and conditions, and and then you 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 can really see uh, how do we fund these these initiatives. I want to tell you that for future reference, um, we really fund internships and thesis projects that are uh, focused on fusion. So, because you know, fusion research is a very uh, broad field, and there is, of course, a lot of things to be done in fusion, and there are a lot of things that can be associated to fusion. But then, when you find a, uh, an internship or a thesis project, it really has to be in fusion. So, let me give you a more practical example. Imagine that you have the the idea to go to an internship to develop. Uh, or to help develop a robotic arm. But then this robotic arm is, is something that could be applied in fusion. So you're developing the technology, but it's not directly into fusion. So you can say, okay, well, yeah, well, this can be applied to fusion. So these kind of internships, we do not, we do not consider like fusion relevant. On the other hand, if you go to develop, for example, uh, a robotic arm that is being developed for the either remote hunting uh, capabilities. You saw Alberto's presentation this morning. So there are these huge cranes and there is a lot of requests for, for a remote handling of components. And then the project that you are involved in really is something ITER related and ITER relevant is part of ITER. Then of course, we will fund this, this uh, internship. So just, to, so, so just that you have it clear. And then when you start thinking about which internship or which thesis project you want to develop, then just bear into, uh, bear into account that, that we will that your topic has to be uh, fusion related and you yeah, and you have to to show that it's really something that it's applicable for fusion at the moment and not only something that could be applicable in fusion so that's easier for you when you apply um then on the other hand we have the educational events so for example just uh, my previous the previous presentation by fernanda she was giving it uh, from the presentation she used for the colham summer school it means that we as Fusion, we are also able to fund you attending educational events such as summer schools. Uh, yeah, this, this, this type of events, uh, winter schools. Um, yes, for conferences, it's not so straightforward. So we are mainly focusing on school. There are really particular cases where you could go on a conference for Fusion support, but that's not the typical one. So you should focus on summer schools, winter schools, and, and this kind of, of events. Also, again, you can find the, you can find all the terms and conditions and the Fusion website on their educational events. So, yeah, bear in mind that also uh, we cover these these initiatives all over Europe. And also, you as beneficiaries, uh, you can come also everywhere from Europe. Of course, one of the two one of the two institutions has to be a Fusion member, but you will you will read more on the on the when you read the terms and conditions. But just to let you know that this is a very broad possibility that you have for for funding to be able to to have mobility because we believe in Fusion that mobility is key for your formation in Fusion because as you have seen, 
all of the all of the big projects in fusion are of international nature and you should be able to relate working to the in different laboratories and working with with uh, people from different backgrounds and and yeah so so yeah this is why we this is why we fund this this kind of initiatives because we believe mobility is key for the development of the future fusion researchers you can find also the stories from students that have come into this initiative for internship this is project. we will have them talking to you later on during the day but you can also find their 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 stories in the fusionet website so you, if you go to education and powered by fusionet you will find all the pictures that you have seen in this collage but also the accompanying stories of the students that took place and then as i mentioned later today you will hear some some stories from them and the what what uh, opportunities this this mobility uh, grants gave to them for their for their research career but other than that we we have other activities so also tailored for you we have of course this master event which is at the second edition so the last year it was a pilot project because we receive many requests from master students all over europe that they would like to have an event where you could be all together and get to know some more a deeper knowledge into fusion so we, we we took that idea and then we came with this master event there is also the possibility for for master students to be part of the student council of fusion so as i mentioned in the first slide uh, one of the governing bodies of of fusion so so you can be part of that usually the student council launches a, a a call every year or every two years for additional members also the students but this is only for master students here at Eindhoven University because Fusenet has its headquarters at Eindhoven University the students from from Technical University of Eindhoven can be also employed by Fusenet as uh, student assistants so you can see some of the student assistants in the picture there here at the at the executive office and you can help us uh, develop these initiatives uh, for example, we have student assistants here. Look, is joining us in, in this event, and then we have some support from them in the different activities of Fusionet, and also with uh, all the uh, software and uh, development of the web page and our, our social media as well. Um, then, of course, for for master students, we also have uh, available Fusion educational materials that you can use uh, additionally to all the, the educational material you have during your masters and provided by your by your universities. But also, we have a as a place where we we have these materials within the fusion web page and then also there is the possibility of course of become part of the community of fusion researchers we believe that the people who are now uh, working at, at this moment or researching or learning about fusion at the moment is going to be the people who will be running the the future the future devices so for example you saw that uh, that many of the of the speakers we had today, they had a, a common background. So at some point they they met during their career at some at some location, and and these are the people who are running now the the big experiments in fusion. And at some point it will be your turn to run this experiment. So the network you are making now is going to be the network that is going to accompany you and and join you when you become the 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 leading scientists in the different fusion fusion experiments. So yeah, so this is pretty much an overview of what Fusionet can do for master students. So we're really eager to 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 help you in your career and also that you become part of the community and aware of what Fusionet does. So I would like you to I would like to encourage you to join us in our different channels, especially on our social media, because uh, this is I think our most direct uh, means of communication with you. Usually what we, when we have our initiatives, we send them all to all the universities and then the universities uh, share them with you. But this is more like of, of a secondary path, you know, it's not direct. So our most direct contact with you master students is through our social, uh, social channels. And we are active on our social channels, especially Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, yeah, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter. So I would really encourage you to join us uh, in, this, in the channel so you are able to have information just up to the moment. And also please join our uh, newsletter. So we have a monthly newsletter that you can, when you subscribe to our network in the, in the website, you have access to this, uh, to this uh, monthly newsletter where we summarize all the activities that are uh, valuable for the association. So yeah, I think that's the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you so much. We are always uh, available for uh, for questions and, and comments at our uh, email. So that's fio at fusenet.eu. So, or on social media, you can also write us as well. So yeah, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or comments or want to know more. So thank you so much.